If you've been trying to figure out how to improve your close rate, this video is gonna be some tips I've used both for myself as a salesperson and leading my sales team. Hey everybody, I'm Mike Claudio, owner of Winner Consulting and host of the Big Stud Sales Podcast. Um, please go subscribe to that. If you like podcasts, we'll love you to check that out. Ryan would too, because Ryan's there. He's also there. Ryan's there. You'll get it. There, there's Ryan. <laughs> so, obviously, many of us as business owners spend a lot of money on marketing and training and bringing on new sales hires and, and all the things that go into growing your pipeline and growing your revenues. One of the biggest things I see often is a lack of approach and consistency around managing the pipeline. So one of the first things I wanna talk about is general pipeline review. <clears throat> I've talked about this in previous videos and think it's pretty wildly missed that people don't go back and look at who did I talk to, what happened, what's gonna move them through the sales process. You're just on to the next lead, on to the next lead, on to the next lead. So the first thing you do is have some sort of tracking system. If you don't have a CRM or a spreadsheet or a person that's tracking that, super important, especially if you have a sales team. Those people are running a lot of meetings. They're running a lot of conversations. If you don't wait for them to track and you need to look at each of their pipelines, understand their clients and their prospects, super, super important there. So what does that look like? What I suggest doing, what I teach on, is doing regular pipeline reviews. Basically sitting down that salesperson, and if that person is you looking at your pipeline and saying, client by client, conversation by conversation, what happened, what's stopping them from moving forward, and what is our next step? If you just went through your pipeline with your sales team right now, you're gonna realize most of them have no idea what's going on with their previous proposals. They probably sent it, moved on, hoped they would call back, and that's not a great way to run your business. So, hey, Ryan, what happened with that call with Mike? What's stopping them from moving forward? What do you think we should do next to move them forward? Or what is your next step? If they don't have a good answer for everybody in the pipeline, your pipeline is not very quality. It is not up to date and it is not being very properly managed. So they should have an answer for every person in the pipeline. If they don't, that's a problem. That person needs to either be moved out, moved up, or moved in to the next stage. That's really important to do that on an, I'd say at least bi-monthly basis, Weekly, preferably, depending on if you have a sales manager or not, I think it's super important to do on a regular basis. So outside of that, skill development from a sales perspective happens a lot if you had sales experience and enjoy it. It doesn't happen a lot if you're operationally gifted. So sometimes bring in outside sales support. There's a lot of business owners who are very operationally gifted, very on the that side of it, and they don't know how to make their sales team better. Sometimes they hire outside help. Bringing in a sales trainer like myself to educate, motivate, and inspire your team is a great way to get more value from them. But ultimately, you need to be investing time into skill development, role plays, and everything else with your team to get them better at closing. If you expect you're gonna hire some people, put them in the field, say, let me know if you have any questions and think that your sales are gonna grow or your close rate's gonna grow, it's just not gonna happen. So what's the best way to do that if you are a busy business owner? Make sales training videos. This is very straightforward. That way you don't have to repeat yourself for every new hire, because right now you likely, especially if you have a sales team of more than let's say three to five, you have turnover. And every time a new salesperson comes in, you have to repeat yourself all over again. Well, did you do it consistently? Did you say the same things? Or did you say the right things? Did you get them really bought in? You're not gonna know, because you're busy. So create a video series, either by hiring somebody to do it for you or doing it yourself, I know this is kind of pitchy, but it is, it is important to do this. So create sales training videos. What do they do at the beginning? How do they greet the client? What do they look like? How do they prospect? How do they network? How do you overcome objections? How do you go through the scope collection? You know, How do you go through a general client interaction? How do you follow up? How do you use the CRM? These are all things that you can automate in a training program. So you can do videos like this where there's a video camera. You can also do screen recording through Loom is a good one, L-O-O-M. Um, Loom is a screen record application. So you can actually show people and record where to click, how to click, what to do. But ultimately, I think moving into the 21st century in 2021, it's super important to have some sort of training backlog of video documented processes that help your team get better. If you want to improve your close rate, you have got to educate your team consistently to get them bought into the program, to get them bought into what's happening, to get them bought in to what needs to be done consistently over time so your client experience stays on point 
getting them through and into the pipeline and into clients as fast as possible. If you don't know how to do that, reach out. Ryan's a great, a great resource for that. He'd, be, he'd love to help you. I'd love to help you. If you are just struggling with that, it is important that you are continually improving upon role-playing and developing skills for your sales team. If that's you, hiring somebody outside the business can be helpful, but go watch videos. Go, you know, you're here. Go watch videos. Go listen to podcasts. Go to some seminars. Maybe do some sort of mastermind group. Do something to get better. I think it's incredibly important that you don't try and just say, well, what works for me now? I don't need to get better because what worked for you now isn't going to work for you later. If you don't believe me, look back two or three years. Is what you were doing then, right now, probably not. So look at your pipeline. What has happened? What's stopping them from moving forward? What are our next steps? And then continual skill development with your team, whether that's on a onboarding process, they're getting a consistent sales training there via video and documented processes or continual role playing, skill development, motivation, inspiration for your team. I've done everything from a one day session to a six month session with sales teams. And I'll tell you, they always come out the other end better than they came in. So look at that for yourself, figure out how to get your close rate up, invest in your people. I'm Mike Claudio, owner of WinRate Consulting, and I want you to win fast and win more often.